So I made another video. <laughs> this is something else that's been like really bothering me. I deactivated my Instagram. I need to fix this camera angle. Cause it's like. It's finally quiet. Everybody finally shut the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> But if the background noise bothers you, sorry, but this is not... If you want a channel with that isolation audio and all these other fancy things, just go there. This is just a... I'm just a regular person with the phone recording and talking and just posting. So it's not going to be top notch, but... <clears throat> I deactivated my Instagram, uh, deleted my TikTok account. That's where some of you, as far as some people have seen my videos through TikTok and that being shared on different platforms. And I don't have a Twitter and I just have YouTube. Um, I deleted those things because I kind of just got tired of feeling bad about myself. And it's usually when people say that, they talk about like people that they don't know, like, oh, Instagrammers, like, they have this car, they have they have this amount of money, they have this, they have that, they get to do this, they get to do that, and whatever. It's it's more more so for me, it's just my peers, people that I do know that makes me feel like shit. It's not their fault. <laughs> I was supposed to go back to school like a week ago. And I couldn't because I'm an independent student and I just can't financially afford to go to a school where my mom can't financially help me at anymore. And I just rather transfer to a school that's more affordable and in-state than be in debt and struggle to find a way to stay enrolled every semester. That just, that's too stressful and that's just too much. But, oh. <laughs> I was getting sad seeing like, people that I used to hang out with on campus, hang out together and hang out without me and do this and do that. And like, and they get to enjoy their college years. And it's just like, I, I've just been getting really jealous lately, feeling like I always have to be a few steps behind everyone. And I just can't be with everybody else. I have to, be forced on this alternative path. It's very fucking frustrating. I was supposed to go back to school, but I had to stay home for like medical leave and getting adjusted to all these like medications and stuff and just having to figure out life for a moment. And just seeing everybody else just move on without me <laughs> and live life and have the college experience and it fucks with me. It really does. It's it really does fuck with me. I go back October to visit them, but I've been really struggling with feeling like that. I really hate this angle. It's so unflattering. <laughs> <laughs> but I just I really hate that for me <laughs> seeing like my roommate move into the dorm that we were supposed to share and someone moving in and being her new roommate and just seeing everyone that I used to hang out with hang out together and watch each other like grow up a little bit and then just being here by myself alone away from them it makes me feel like shit. I don't have a job. Um, I'm, I'm trying a new medication because my medication just wasn't working for me anymore. Um, it's just so fucking frustrating seeing people your age being able to like move forward with their lives and not saying that it's easy but being able to just like do life 
and just seeing yourself struggle so hard with the smallest shit it's just so fucking frustrating like waking up in the morning should not be hard for me but it is because my medication makes it hard for me to sleep but then it makes it hard for me to go to sleep or seeing everybody like like make friends and party and it's not super difficult for me it's not impossible for me it's just kind of difficult because i'm not really around anybody my age like school yeah job you don't really go to work to make friends but it's just a shitty feeling seeing everybody around you move forward and it just feels like you're constantly having to move backwards i feel like my entire life i've always had to go back to the drawing board or just like when i feel like i solved everything and i have to like go back and just try something a different way not and just not being sure i'm gonna have an answer then but just trying to see where like where it takes me or what answer i get i don't want to do that like i know the whole point of life is for everything to be trial and error and just try and just see what works for you but like it's frustrating seeing shit work for people and they don't have to do too much <laughs> like, living takes a lot of effort already seeing that some people don't i'm not saying that life is easy for anybody but seeing that like my peers their parents can afford for them to, they their parents can afford to go in debt for them to go to school or whatever my mom can't take out loans um and stuff like that i genuinely have to find something that's affordable for me to go to or like seeing people like i remember i was at school some people didn't not have to work when they were at school i had to work because i a mom already like just i already maxed out my credit card getting things that i needed for school and she did the same so like i had to make sure i get a job to make sure that i'm able to like provide for myself i'm not jealous of these people because they have it good i'm just jealous because I just want things to just work for me, just for once. And at first I thought I was a late bloomer because it takes me time to figure everything out. But it takes me time to figure everything out because I can't do what everybody does. I can't take the route that's more understandable and that's digestible. I can't, well, I not digestible, understandable, but I can't take the route that's comfortable the route that I know for sure I'm going to feel secure in. I have to take the route where I'm uncertain, the route where I have to figure out things alone. I can get help, but I have to figure out alone. I have to figure out what works for me. And I have to do shit the hard way. <laughs> and realizing that I'm a late bloomer because, not because I'm delaying growing up, or I'm delaying responsibilities, but because I just have some shit that I need to work through. It's irritating. It's frustrating. <laughs> I hate that I don't get to go to school with my friends anymore and I have to see them as a guest or as a visitor and not as a peer. It makes me feel so left out. Like it makes me feel like I'm just not a part of their world anymore and I have to build me a whole world somewhere else. And I always have to do that i always have to start over again i always have to go back and change shit and i always have to like i used to grow up thinking that i just had bad luck or something like that because whenever i got my hopes up for something i was proved why i shouldn't have got my hopes up in the first place like when i was homeless with my mom i would get my hopes up that okay this place that we're living at now it's gonna be the place for this is, this is gonna be the spot that's gonna feel like home and then I'll be proved why I should never got comfortable in the first place. Or just being a child and just having unrealistic expectations and just being proved why those things should not exist and why you should have expectations of anything. It's humbling. <laughs> I hate that I can't go back to school until January. I really wanted to go back September. I hate that I'm going to have to make connections all over again. And I hate 
that I'm gonna have to change my major because they don't have my program at the school that I applied to, but it's damn near the same thing. So there's no point in going to a totally different school just for something that's damn near equivalent to what I'm like, you know? I'm gonna have to build a whole new life and abandon one that I've already started building with people that I've already started connecting with. And it feels, it feels shitty. And what's weird is that I'm very, I'm excited. I'm excited to meet new people. I'm excited to reinvent myself over again and reintroduce myself and to just, see all these new things and stuff, but. I don't want to have to take time out of school because I got a little bit too depressed and did something stupid or like. I hate how it just feels like it's taking me longer to figure shit out than everybody else. I feel like it's always been like that where it takes me longer to just figure my shit out and like being told that like I'm just not prepared and just being made seem like that I just procrastinate on my responsibilities. On the non-important ones, I do, but with important shit like this, I don't. I feel like I always have to work 10 times harder than everybody else just so I can get a crumb of the comfort that they have with their bubble. And I keep aspiring to recreate this safety zone or this comfort zone this bubble for me that i'm just never gonna have that i just never had in the first place some people get to be able to be naive and they get to just like they don't have to worry like i went to school with people that did not have to worry about shit back at home they're good they don't have to worry about checking their account to swipe their card to, to get something that, that they need or they don't have to like worry about prioritizing like staying in um because they can't afford to go out i'm just i'm also jealous of the fact that people get to have this they get to be have this naiveness they get to have this comfort and this ignorance i don't i haven't been able to have my bubble of ignorance for a very long fucking time In turning 21 in nine days, <laughs> there's a lot of things that I'm just not, I'm never going to experience or have the pleasure of experiencing or acquiring or just having and I know we make it seem like jealousy is such an ugly emotion. Like, oh, you're a jealous bitch or da 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 da, like you're evil. But like jealousy is also something that just makes you discover what it is that you truly do want. Something that you truly do wish that you had. Jealousy only reveals some type of privilege. And I don't wish any ill will on those people back at school. I'm actually just really fucking happy for them and I wish I could be happy with them. I'm also proud of them. It just makes me sad that I can't do th those things with them anymore. I can't graduate with them. I can't hang out with them or make more friends with them. Like, I really am going into adulthood with no friends <laughs> and having to start over again. And to be quite honest, it's giving loser. Like, <laughs> I'm starting to feel like a loser. <laughs> and I'm not saying that like, oh, pity me, self-loathing. But no, for real, I, I'm starting to feel slick like a loser. Like, am I in my loser era? I don't know. But, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go in the house. Uh, I'm hungry. 
and I want to convince my mom to order something because I don't think I want to cook or I might just cook. I don't know, but I got to go.